Hey everybody, it's Riker Rider, and welcome to another bonus episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy. Well, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. I've finally gotten the necessary levels to fight Shinryu and Omega, and I'm going to start with arguably the more difficult of the two, Omega. As you can see, I have 999 HP on all characters, like I said, and it turned out that I was pretty close to max level. Nothing's really changed too much. I decided to give Masamune to um, Ninja, but that might be a bad idea, since generally only one character is going to be attacking during this fight. I believe, let me just double check if I set everything to memory, yeah I did, because this fight's going to take long enough as it is, without me having to find my... Uh, my uh, heal staff every turn. And thank you people for telling me that. That's going to make this take a lot less time. <sighs> well, if I die in this fight, it's going to be quickly. <sighs> Here we go. A thousand years. Yay, stupid hard bonus bosses. I still can't believe I'm going to be fighting Omega under these conditions. What do I even do here? I'm not even going to cast haste right away. I'm just going to get on the defensive immediately. Get those fog twos going. get a single fog on uh, on my black wizard so that he can have a chance at surviving these attacks. Yeah. Oftentimes you'll have to get your defenses up on characters one at a time because your red mage is going to be busy casting cure three. See the difference all those levels are making? You really do need them. This is just pretty much going to be until I can get my defenses up on my main character. Ow. Really, the first few rounds are what you're worried about before you get those defenses up. One of your party members is probably going to die at some point during the fight, and you just don't have time to revive him. Earthquake is just Quake. That's a free turn for you. You want to hope he uses this a lot. Because every turn he uses that, generally, you can, you can set up another Fog 2. One issue you can actually run into during this fight is running out of magic. That attack's annoying. Um, and this is actually why it can be better if one of your party members, specifically Locke, dies. Because otherwise you just can't keep up with the healing if he keeps using Wave Cannon over and over again. But I'm in pretty good shape right now. Like you'll like with the wave cannon attacks, you'll fall a little bit behind. Not too much though. Hopefully you won't use it too many times in a row or randomly kill a party member, but I don't think he can right now. Damage is going down already. You're going to have to stack this a lot. You want to stack uh, Fog and Fog 2 enough to get his damage 
from his physical attack under 200. Once you do that, you can start attacking. Oh. Well, that was a bit of a risk I probably shouldn't have taken, but whatever. <coughs> so once you once you get enough Fog 2 set up, this is really just a long, long War of Attrition. Which is why I wasn't sure what I was going to do with regards to showing this fight off. Because even if you use a, a regular strategy, using all the equipment and spells that work only in this version of the game, this guy still takes a while. Just because his absorb is 190, which I believe is higher than any other enemy in the game except for, like, oozes and such. The ones that, have, the ones that I said earlier in the LP have perfect defense. See, damage is going down already. But I want to get more of this set up. And the reason why I'm using Protect over, uh, over Invis is because of, well, the number of hits that this guy, that the number of hits this guy dishes out. It, I think it takes longer to reduce his accuracy than it does, well, not reduce his accuracy, but increase your evasion to the point where he's not hitting you than it does just doing this the normal way by just buffing your defense and you can also I think you can also buff defense a little bit more efficiently than you can uh, evasion with this party now if you had a white wizard well if you had a white wizard then you would have heal 3 and this fight would be not trivial by any stretch of the imagination, but easier. I think we're almost ready to start attacking. Like, ideally, I would like to start using fast after he uses earthquake, but I'm only gonna I'm only gonna use fast on two of my characters. Because the, or at least for now, because the Red Wizard has no business attacking. Because Omega's speed is 78, he'll likely go before your party members, so that's the reason why at that point in the fight I would preemptively use, uh, okay, he, okay, Terra's got a perfect defense, so I can start working on my other party members. This went a lot more smoothly than when I fought him the last time. Okay, one more on the ninja, and then one fog two on everybody, and then I think I can start getting on the offensive. Yeah, I can. At this point now, all you really have to worry about is wave cannon. If he uses that multiple times in a row, then people will die because um, 2x healing staff and cure 3 won't be able to keep up with it. Okay, let's start getting on the offensive now. Oh, even better. <laughs> Must be some leftover dust particles from when I cleaned this place up the other day. Whatever. Whatever, let's start getting on the offensive now. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, he can't do much to you. But you see how with these with these weapons and these and these levels, we can just barely break through Omega's defenses. 
So depending on how much offense I get going here, it's going to take a while to beat him. You'll usually only be able to do about 500 damage a round, and this guy has 35,000 HP. So it takes a long time to defeat him, unfortunately. But I think we're in the clear for the most part, unless he uses Wave Cannon like four or five times in a row. And usually he only uses it up to three times in a row before he starts using something else and he can catch up with the healing. But that's, that's what this fight and, and the next fight are about, are just getting set up so that you can get into a position where it's very unlikely that you will be killed. And then just grinding it out. Well, I'm used to it because usually I play Control when I play Magic. And Controller, if you haven't played much Magic, it's one of those grindy decks that just that just tries to win through attrition alone. Just tur and it just turtles up for the first like seven or eight turns before it starts to do anything meaningful. I just don't think there's a lot he can do to us aside from getting unlucky with wave cannon. I have a feeling I'm going to run into the same problem with Chronidea if what I'm hearing about her is true. But I don't want to spoil myself because I haven't seen Chronidea yet. And I want to at least like put my ver put my virgin run as part of the LP. And if I get killed, then I'll study her and try to kill her. Yeah, even with this kind of a setup, you still can't be completely. Im completely immortal. You can be almost immortal, but you can't be totally immortal, sadly. I can't imagine trying to do this at any lower level than this. That'd just be insane. Wow, yuck. I hate rounds, which my fighter does under 100 damage. Because it feels like a wasted round, almost. If you can do 500 a round, that's about what you should expect. I mean, considering that my... My... Red Wizard still has the Sun Sword of all things, which, aside from his color of Masamune, is I believe the best, or aside from Masamune, the best weapon he can have. It still can't break through his defense. Those of you who just want to see the end, you can skip to probably like three minutes, three minutes to the end of the video, because the rest of this is just going to be whittling away at his massive HP and cutting through his defenses. I 
promise the next boss fight will be more interesting. It uses a similar strategy, yes, but uh, the next boss has overall more attack power and has a lot more threatening things that he can do. Whereas Omega really only has three attacks, a physical attack, wave cannon, and earthquake. There really isn't even a whole lot of strategy to this boss. I mean, just get your defenses set up, have three party members attack, and Black Wizard use a uh, heal staff every turn, with the uh, Red Wizard joining in on the healing if the party falls behind. There's really nothing to it. <coughs> which is kind of which is kind of a disappointment, considering that Omega is supposed to be. If I recall correctly, the hardest enemy in the pre-3D Final Fantasy games. And he's definitely a lot less grindy than in, uh, in, uh, he's definitely a lot less grindy than in this game, because in Final Fantasy V, he has an attack that can actually remove your party members from the battle, and not even instant death protection will circumvent it. It's just that character is removed from the battle. Not to mention, I believe his level is 119, which is higher than any other enemy in the game. Even the even in the GBA version, the bonus bosses were only level 97. Not looking forward to fighting those. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy V Advance. I've, for the most part, just been trying to prepare for the for the bonus dungeon and the bosses towards the end of the regular game. I love the ability points you can get in that final area, though. <coughs> I wonder if the... I wonder if the developers are just going to troll me by making all the enemies in the... in the bonus dungeon immune to gravity. Because that's another thing that's bugged me towards the end of uh, Final Fantasy V is almost every single enemy in that last dungeon. The... I really hate that they left out the original name for uh, the final the final area, the Cleft of Dimension. In the advanced translation, they just called it the Rift. The awesome music is still there, and the surreal atmosphere is still there, but... The Collective Dimension was such an awesome name. At least the Rift is better than the End Zone that they used in the Anthologies translation. Ideally, what I'd like to have for the for the bonus dungeon is is uh, max jobs. Oh crap! I probably should pay attention to my health. It's running a little bit low. I should probably have my red wizard join in on the fun. Okay, that should be good then. 
Not like he's doing that much damage anyway. One more turn of this. Should be good again after that heal home gets off. Yeah, we are. I wonder if I should put this video as the feature video on uh, on my on my old channel because apparently that channel still gets like that channel apparently gets more views in a day than my channel does in a week. Maybe it'll get people to subscribe to it. I don't know. It's just been irksome how. Ever since I said that channel was dead and I don't put anything on it except, like, Mahjong. Like, Mahjong speedruns. Like, basically anything that's not an LP video. <sighs> At least I'm happy to see that I made the right decision putting Super Paper Mario on the new channel. Because that LP already has more views than this one. And I've put up about the same amount of videos for each. Wow, that was a terrible round. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to fight Omega in uh, Final Fantasy XIII 2 because I never downloaded the, or I never pre-ordered the game and got the DLC. I'll just have to watch it or something when I get to that point. Um, I still don't have Final Fantasy XIII 2 yet because, because, because among my PTA game recording videos for my channel, and class, I just, I just don't think getting another addicting video game is a good idea. Not to mention work. I mean, I would love to get 13-2 because I've heard nothing but good things about that game. It's just I'm also still working on things like Blaster Master Overdrive, which, which if you like old, if you like old school gaming, it's a great game to get off uh, WiiWare. It's just very hard. I'm still on Area Five. I think if you guys want to watch it, or see the game, there's a Let's Play of it out there somewhere. I think only one guy has done it. It's, it's a difficult game. Would you stop using wave cannon so many times in a row so I don't have to go on healing duty with another 
party member. The quicker I can end this fight, the better. You know, I wonder... I wonder if the gauntlet will do more damage. Because Omega is weak to lightning. Or I can just kill him. Huh. Well... That wasn't that wasn't quite as long as it was last time. And we get the Mirasame, which is a weapon for the ninja. Gives him uh, an evasion bonus and a speed increase, but it's not as good as the uh, it's not as good as the uh, the uh, Masamune in terms of attack power. It's still a good weapon that he can use though. Well, I'm going to go fight Shinryu now, the next boss. See you guys next time.